All right, hen, we're rolling. <laughs> we're rolling. What are you doing? So we're still cleaning that. We're moving everything around and reorg. See, we should have painted this before. 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 I know. I want to paint it navy with white shelves, but we're kind of worried. I think that's a bad idea. This We have fluorescent lighting in here, which I guess we could change. We're going to put a big ice maker right here against the wall, and then we'll move our fruit stand here. And then I think we're going to do some long-term storage bins on the floor. So yesterday I filmed a little bit while I was doing some cooking and I can't remember if I filmed this so I'm gonna show you I made some butter cookies from oh my goodness I'm knocking things down from a country life vlog I we watch a vlog while we're trying to get Evan to go to bed and she made these and they look so pretty. These are the ones that kind of spread out big. They're supposed to look like this. And if the recipe, if you, you're supposed to chill the recipe. So I did chill them and then the first few batches came out really uniform. They started to really flatten out as the dough got soft. So I'm gonna make the last of those now. I took some to our daughter in college and her friend, so that was fun. Um, but I can, I wrote the recipe down. I can link that below. She also has a cookbook that most of her recipes come from. Um, I'm just thinking maybe I'll order that cookbook today. That'll be fun. I can do like a spontaneous review because I've made some of her recipes and they're really easy and have been pretty good. So I will link her vlog that had the recipe for the better um, is below. Okay, so I just mixed together poppy seed chicken. I stopped halfway through to show you. This is going in the freezer. So this it, I used, oh, back up. These are my sad butter cookies I just showed you. I got distracted and didn't set a timer and they're overdone. So we're gonna try to eat these before they get too hard to eat. But they were prettier consist, like all uniform, form and uh frustrating so i do um throw all the chicken breasts in the crock pot on high until it's shreddable and so this is an entire one of those big packs from sam's from our grocery haul so i used a little bit of it in here this is 16 ounces of sour cream and two cream of chickens shredded chicken as much as you like and two tablespoons of poppy seeds then you crush crackers over the top and I'm gonna put it in the freezer. I'm gonna stop at that step. I wrap my freezer meals in saran wrap and then tin foil. And then when you go to bake it, I will thaw it in the refrigerator all day and then I melt a stick of butter and pour it over the top so that allows the crackers to really golden up and it's very yummy. We serve this sweet. Evans, frustrated you can't go outside. We serve that over rice. Okay, so I was just gonna show you, I made a small gluten-free poppy seed chicken. I just halved the recipe. I used this um, great value from Walmart, cream of chicken, gluten-free. I just um, used one. And then for the topping, I'm going to use these I think it's called like Shot Shazar. I don't know. I cut off the the brand. Is it anywhere else? Yeah, I think it's Shazar. And these actually look. I haven't put them on top yet and taste like Ritz crackers. So I'm gonna be able to eat this when they eat this. So I just for one small serving, just half the recipe. Eight ounces of of sour cream. One cream of chicken one tablespoon of poppy seed chicken, shredded chicken, and then the crackers on top. And then I'll just do a little bit of butter when we cook it. 
Okay, I keep thinking of things as I'm walking around here. So at the beginning of the month, we buy a lot of bananas. I was only able to buy a few um, this, this time, so when I may make my HEB order, I'm gonna get some more. But I just put some parchment paper on a tray and get these in the freezer. I just cut them in half, and then when we go to make a smoothie, I just throw these in as a block bag. We have frozen bananas for our smoothie. Hey, Evan, what are you eating? Are you eating a mum mum? Yeah. A mum mum? Can you? Can I see? A mum mum. Good job. You having a good day? Yeah. Are you watching Spy Kids? Yeah. Yeah, you like Spy Kids? Good job. Can you smile and show him your teeth? He just had dental surgery under general <laughs> sedation and got all his teeth fixed. Good job, Evan. So, update. I made this. This is from one of my favorite six sisters. It's Spanish beef and rice bake. So it was ground beef, onion peppers, seasonings, um, chili sauce, rice. You did all that in a skillet and then you put it in a nine by 13 and then cover it with a can of refried beans and cheese. And that is gonna be a freezer meal. I only made one. So when we serve it, I will serve it with like a side salad and um, cornbread to kind of stretch it out a little bit over here. Okay, everything is super messy. I made this um, Pioneer Woman Simple Perfect Chili. I doubled it. I put it in this, these two bags. The only thing I didn't do was add the water. And then I did not have this Mesa Harina. And so I added that to my grocery list and I'll make a note to add that to it. And then I also added a can of um, the tomato sauce was just half a can and I went ahead and added a whole can in each one and then I have this huge 102 ounce thing of diced tomatoes that I'm using for freezer cooking and <laughs> um, And so I added a couple of spoonfuls into there and so I wrote that on the recipe so if we end up liking it like it is then um, I know how I adjusted that recipe we are having the carne asada that we had last night that I showed you a little bit and I will show us a plate. Um, Evan is pulling on my hand. Okay, here. Do you want to say something? Yeah. Oh, you want to show him your mum mum? Yeah. Yes, okay. Yeah. Oh, good job. So, what's left tonight that we're going to try to do is... Um, I have about four things of chicken left. I'm about to do one more in the crock pot. And then I'm gonna make some meatballs with some of this raw meat, and then we're gonna bag up the rest of the meat. I'm gonna make tamale pie. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, slow cooker tamale pie. And then we'll see where we are. Slow cooker tamale pie. I'm just going to get this. I'm just gonna get this in the freezer bags so I again put one of two and two of two so each one of these has a pound of ground beef and then I'm gonna add a ah, trying to do this one-handed teaspoon of cumin into each one and a teaspoon of salt but I'm not gonna show you that because I can't do that one-handed this is a 10 ounce can of red enchilada sauce in each one. And then some black beans. These are from Aldi. And another black beans in this other bag. A can of corn in each.
And then lastly, a can of Rotel. And I do not drain the Rotel, but I did drain the beans and rinse them. So I'm gonna add a teaspoon of salt. And then on this recipe, um, you put all this, you just dump this in a crock pot. So I'll do two crock pots that day and you sprinkle um, with cheese. So first you cook it for six to eight hours in the crock pot. It's already cooked. So I just cook mine on low. And then when that's done, you sprinkle it with cheese and then you mix up a muffin, a corn muffin or cornbread box and put it on top and it continues to bake. So I'm going to do one gluten-free and one Jiffy. This is actually not, I like, usually do two because I like the cornbread a little bit thicker, but this is so much bigger. So I'll just kind of add a little bit of the gluten-free to the other one. But one thing I do is if I'm going to use something for a recipe and I'm obviously not going to put that in there right now, I write the title of the recipe on the box so that during the month I don't use this because it would be frustrating to get to the day of Smalley Pie, make it, and then realize that you forgot you were making it and use this up earlier in the month. So let's see. I got this chicken, half of this big thing of chicken in here. We ate the carne asada again and did not take a picture of it, but it was good. I'll link the recipe. I think for what's left, I did the five pounds. We're gonna actually dice it or chop it and maybe do, um, I don't know what we'll do with it, but we're gonna eat that for lunch tomorrow, probably after church. Here I am making some Italian meatballs for the freezer. I did not save this recipe. I just pulled it up on that black phone right there. And I wore food safe gloves because I don't like touching raw meat. I know it had Parmesan cheese, Italian seasoning, and some eggs and breadcrumbs. So this made three big bags, freezer bags of meatballs. I did cook them prior to putting them in the freezer. So they'll be fully cooked and just needed to be heated up when we're ready to use them. Okay, that's good. It is 8.30. I've been in the kitchen most of the day since we got home. We went to the farmer's market this morning. But I'm going to wrap up today's time in the kitchen. My sweet husband that is always my helper has done this whole line of assembly line of dishes for me and I'm about to go put all of this in the oven. This is just cooked hamburger meat. It's probably about three pounds. I have two bags of these grilled chicken. We tried some of that new seasoning that we bought at Sam's. I have spaghetti sauce and then this chicken is just butterflied for chicken fried chicken. So I just took the big Sam's breast and divided them in half. There's enough here for all of us. So this isn't like a prepared meal, but it's art. the chicken's already cut. So the knife that we're gonna do chicken fried chicken should be a little bit easier. One more bag of hamburger meat, another bag of grilled chicken. I flash freeze some of these, the last bit of the batter for the butter cookies. And then here I have three bags of the meatballs. And we still have probably three huge packages of chicken and I don't know how much hamburger meat. The date goes back, it says freeze by the 7th and tomorrow is the 5th. So after church, I will get the rest of it in the freezer. So welcome back, it's the next day and we're finishing processing all the meat. I have this handsome helper here. So tell him what you just did. Um, I processed the chicken. <laughs> so we're making, he butterflied one half of a pack and we're making world's best chicken. So all we're gonna do is pour the ingredients 
into the bag and then on the day we cook it we just thaw it and then it marinates while it thaws and then this is we just grill it so it has Dijon mustard maple syrup red wine vinegar salt and pepper and rosemary and then he is also making chicken tacos that will go in the crock pot so he is just adding the raw chicken in there and then we're going to add a can of enchilada sauce and a can or a package of gluten-free seasoning. Okay. So this is the chicken tacos. Can I send this to your computer? So, from your computer? We'll so open this for me. Shake it up and open it. Just gonna pour that on top. Okay, can you go grab me a soda um, from the other fridge, please? I really appreciate you and yeah. all of your hard work. Sir, look. It was totally empty. Okay, world's best chicken. Can I? Um, so this to your computer. Sure. I don't know if I'm on the right internet though. It always logs me into. Yeah, it logs me. So I have these cute recipe cards so on a tangent. Yes, hold on. He has a question. What is your question? Um, this. You're pouring that into the tacos. The whole thing? Mm-hmm. And then you're just going to seal it up and that is ready for the frid freezer. So for when we cook that, we truly just dump it in frozen solid into the crock pot. <laughs> Good catch, Isaiah. Yeah. This handsome man just, are you, <laughs> he's fleeing the camera. I don't want to be on the camera. Okay. Um, <laughs> forgot what we were saying. Oh. My session expires. I have shared before that this will be real life. This is how my recipes are organized. Print offs, random things. So every this month, not the right I dig through that pile that and it's terrible. I bought really cute recipe. These little metal recipe holders off of Amazon. I can link those below. And I bought one for originally for me and my niece Hannah. And then I bought one for Emma. And then I bought one for my new Haley is my niece in law. What is that? How do you say that? She's married to my nephew. So when she got married, I had this grandiose idea that I was going to give them this as a wedding gift. So now I am gifting them this just in my own timing. So Emma and baby Daniel Thank you. are doing the tedious task of going through the ones that we've already handwritten and dividing them. And then the goal is to eliminate this pile so that we each have our recipe box. And then I'll just need to get dividers so that we can not have to dig through all of the recipes. On a funny note, I had a child that will remain nameless was helping me copy them. And I was doing the borracho beans that I showed you and it said one cup salt, one cup pepper. And I got so yeah, tickled. <laughs> no. And it, it, it made me so happy that I didn't even correct it. So obviously whoever gets that, hopefully Emma, Hannah or Haley know that you wouldn't put a whole cup of salt in beans, but anyways, that was me. so Emma is up to helping me with that. No, that was not me. Okay, honey. So all we have to do is I need a cup of Dijon mustard. Thank you. Oh. Yes, and then I need of this 
So we're gonna use this pure maple syrup, half a cup of this. I'll get the red wine vinegar. Might have been a little bit more than half a cup. That's fine. Um, Dijon mustard. Just gonna I we, I didn't see any. Look and see if we have some in the bottom. All right. I Two tablespoons of that. So we'll put this in the fridge. We'll get Dijon mustard at so the, the grocery. Just give me one thing. second. Okay, so I was out of Dijon mustard, and we're gonna make that H-E-B run for my final um, recipe, things that we needed for the recipes, and so I can show you this quick. Every month, I kind of retype this out. It's highlighted by chicken, beef, fish, sausage, and then it has the meals on it and then this is the process that we're in like the chicken fried chicken is already in the freezer the world's best chicken okay i can't see it here oh okay world's best chicken is in fridge so it says add rosemary and then i'm gonna add and mustard so when we get back from the HEB tonight, we'll be able to throw the rest of these ingredients in there and get it into the freezer. Okay, so I'm back in my pantry. Brian spent some time organizing in here for me. I'm so thankful. It's still a work in progress, but it is much more manageable. So I will turn this around and show you. So we, on the top shelf, he moved most of our, like our roaster pan, bigger pots, pitchers, air fryer. Um, we keep some of our hard liquor way up there. Um, and then, you know, just kind of the stuff that's out of the way. I do use crock pots on a daily basis sometimes. But I have our step stool here. This is an Ikea step stool that we've probably had for a few decades. So we ordered a lot more of these clear bins. They come in a set of six, I believe. I can link those on Amazon, but that looks really nice. It just contains everything, but it's still clear. So we have some gluten-free ones here. We have all our beans and pastas there. And then our canned goods are all along on this shelf. And then over here, it's sort of our baking section. This has all of our baking goods, like chocolate chips and stuff. The only thing I haven't done is this is full of flour and I'm gonna add it to these long-term storage. He put three or four down here, one has potatoes, onions, oats, and rice. And then I'm gonna do flour, and then I have one extra. So I will, at some point this week, get those in there, and then they'll slide under here. And then we moved our fruit tray, or our fruit stand here. This is just a basket that I got at Sam's or Costco years and years ago. And because it has these little wire edges. I just put a napkin in there and wash those napkins once a month. And we just keep our fruit here that we eat up pretty quickly. Within about a week, all that fruit will be gone. This is just our extra um, oatmeal, nuts, granola, just some random little drinks and our instant breakfast, applesauce, and then extra condiments and honey and oils on the bottom and then we just have a pile of drinks here that that part's not super organized evans formula and i need to update our whiteboards but i will link 
these things that we just bought on Amazon to help organize our pantry. Thank you for watching this cook with me video. We really appreciate it and we're enjoying getting to know y'all better. So please give this video a like and subscribe if you are not already a part of our YouTube family. So thanks friends. Bye.